the lands of the Middle West are attacked by a tiny but powerful enemy, the Tussock Moth. In northern Idaho, millions of these insects have destroyed parts of the forests. Scientists point to stripped trees in a 350,000 acre timber area in which the moths are advancing. Government and private agencies prepare to stamp out the destructive pests. A DDT-type insecticide is poured from railroad tank cars to trucks. It takes 40 tank cars to carry 350,000 gallons of spray, about a gallon per acre needed for this operation. The trucks carry the DDT to airports, where it is loaded aboard special planes. These planes, which carry from 75 to 300 gallons of the spray, distribute it over the forest. The insecticide killer is released from spray jets built in the wings. The nozzles are tested on the ground before the aircraft takes off. Planes leave from special landing fields built in the timber area for this operation. Once in the air, they work in shifts, crisscrossing over the forest until they have covered the entire infested area. in relatively short time, far quicker than ground crews could do the job. The DDT kills the tussock moth and prevents them from causing further damage. This airborne operation saves thousands of feet of lumber for the world. 